but with um, Pascal's triangle, there, I don't think there will be no need for this. Okay, there will be no need for this. And just imagine this is going to be very clumsy. You have to multiply these two, then multiply, then multiply. <coughs> but what we will do with Pascal triangle, you will go somewhere and write the coefficient at n equal to six. So when the power is when n, we'll be calling this n. Okay. When n is zero, we have one. You write one, one. You write one, two, one. You write one, three, three, one. You write four, four, six, four, one. This is what zero, one, two, three, four. The next one will be one. Just do it. Well, the next one will be one, one, five, ten, ten, five, one. That is for five. Then for six now will be one, six. 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So this will be the coefficient, <coughs> coefficient of this one. So you come somewhere, you write it. 1, let me write it here. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15. Now, if you observe, you observe there's a trend. When it gets to this peak, there's a trend downward. That will still help you. 6 and then this is 1. So if you look at all these, these are the coefficient of these. The next thing you will do is you will write this one eh, starting with 6. You write this one in decreasing power form. The first one here in decreasing power form left to you write this one from left. This first member here. Okay, so you write x6 because it's the highest. X5, X4, X3, X2, X. Here there's nothing again, X2. Then you write the second member here from here to this side. You write Y6, you write Y6, you write Y5, you write Y4, Y3, Y2, and Y. So you stop. Now, what will be the final answer? Final answer is all I have here is x6. What I have here is 6x5y. Remember, we are multiplying. Please take note of that. Mm? We're multiplying everything. Plus 15f is the power of 4y squared plus, plus um, 20 with x3 and y3. So 20x3y3 plus. 15x squared y4 plus 6xy uh, y5 then finally we have y6 so this is the answer okay let me do one more let me do let's do one more example okay let's say we have x plus y raised to the power of 3 what I will do, I need to look for the coefficient of this one. So I have zero is this. Okay, let me do it here. Zero is this. One is one and one. <coughs> two is one, two, one. Three is one, three, three, one. Four is, okay, this is what we're looking for three. So one, three, three, one. So I will write one, three, three, one. I will not look at this first one. I will start from here. Remember I said the first one will be decreasing this way. The last one will be decreasing. This way, so I'll start with x cube, x2, and x. I'll move to the second one, then I start with y cube, y2, and y. So finally, what will I have on this side? I will have x cube plus this will be what 3x squared y. This will be what 3xy squared, and finally, this will be what y cube. Let's do one that will be a little bit scrum. So let's say we have x plus 2y okay x plus 2y raised to the power of let me see I don't want to do it too long the video is already becoming long so maybe other videos I'll do other examples so where's the power of this we're going to have we're going to have um, okay you start with this one first of all we'll find the coefficient the coefficient is 1 3 3 1 so 1 3 3 1 you 
you now write this one will be decreasing this way this one will be decreasing this way so starting with 3 s cube s2 and just x starting from here this will be 2y cube here you have another challenge again 2y alone so you need to simplify this 2y cube means 2y cube means 2y times 2y times 2y if you have problem with this you can use the calculator to check this is for you one student too but for jamba you're supposed to know this so if you have problem with this you can use this to check and you have two if you're even supposed to know the the value of 2y cube as 8 so here this is 8y cube this one is 2 times 2 this will be 4 y squared and this is just 2y so please take note that this last stage is the simplification of this one okay so what will be my final answer this will be x cube this one here will be 3x squared <coughs> 2 okay 3x squared times 2y so you know that 2 will multiply with the 3 okay and this will be 6x squared and y so if you look at this one this is 3 x and 4, 4 will multiply with the 3 and I'll have 12 uh, x y squared so this is 1 times 8 cube and I'll be 8 cube so this is what will happen ok I think I have to stop here thank you for watching this video please I would like you to help me if you know this video actually is actually helpful help me click on the like button on the subscribe button also Turn on, turn on the, turn on the um, notification button for more info. Okay, so please, if there's any topic you want me to cover, please try as much as you can. Do.